we believe in one God, God the Father, the one because Lord, creator of heaven and earth and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created in abundance of the Father, by whom all things were made. Who first man of power salvation came down from heaven, was the carn of the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us, and punched the Father, suffered, and was buried, and the third day he rose from dead, according to the scriptures. Ascended to heaven, and said to the right hand of his Father, and is coming again, and his glory, judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom shall have no end. Yes, who believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of the seed, the Father, and the Son, is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, one holy, Catholic, Apostolic Church, we confess on baptism for the mission of sins. We look to the Lord and the dead, and the days are come, amen, O Lamb of God, us, we ask you to hear us, have mercy on us, and forgive us our sins, amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. on us, O God, our Savior, O Lord, help. O Lord, God of hosts, be with us for have no hope and hardships and tribulations, but you absolve, forgive, and remit, O God, our transgression, those which committed willingly, and those which committed unwillingly, those which committed knowingly, and those which committed unknowingly, the hand and manifest, O Lord, forgive us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses. As you forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Christ is our Lord, for thine kingdom, power, the glory, forever. Amen.
Guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints, for that which is good on our behalf at all times, and make us worthy to partake of the commun communion of his holy and blessed mysteries for the remission of our sins. Lord, have mercy. At the fight, and the hot and 
all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest. Take them away from us and from all your people and from this holy table and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. So, whoa, 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 Servants of this day, my father, the priest, the deacon, the clergy, and all the people, and my weak self, be absolved from the mouth of the All Holy Trinity, the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit, and from the mouth of the One Holy Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, and from the mouth of the Twelve Apostles, and from the mouth of the Beholder of God, the Avenged of Mar, the Apostle of Martyr, the Patriarch Saint Savior, the Teacher of Scores, and the Saint the Apostolic Saint Peter, the Holy Martyr and High Priest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Cyril, Saint Bede, Saint Gregory and from the mouths of the 318 assembled in Nicaea, the 150th of Constantinople, and 200 of Ephesus, and from the mouth of our honored father, the high priest, Papa Abba Talbos, the second is part of apostolic liturgy, our honored father, and metropolitan, Abba Serapion, and from the mouth of my father, and my abject self, being the least, for blessing and full glory is the holy name of Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit, now and at all times, and to the age of all ages. Amen. <laughs> Be 
Call to me an apostle, according to the gospel of God. I chapter from the epistle of our two St. Paul to the Galatians. May his blessings be upon us all. Amen. Brethren, I speak in the manner of men, though it is only a man's covenant, yet if it is confirmed, no one annuls or adds to it. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He does not say, and to seed, as of many, but as of one, and to your seed, who is Christ. And this I say that the law, which was 430 years later, cannot annul the covenant that was confirmed before God in Christ, that it should make the promise of no effect. For if the inheritance is of the law, it is no longer of promise. But God gave it to Abraham by promise. What purpose then does the law serve? It was added because of transgressions to the seed should come to whom the promise was made. And it was appointed through angels by the hand of the mediator. Now a mediator does not mediate for one, for one only, but God is one. Is the law then against the promises of God? Certainly not. If there had been a law given which could have given life, truly righteousness would have, truly righteousness would have been given by the law. But the scripture has confirmed on has confined all under sin, that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. But before faith came, we were kept under guard by the law, kept for the faith which would afterward be revealed. Therefore the law was our tutor to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come, we are no longer under a tutor. But you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female. But you are all one in Christ Jesus, and if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed, and heirs according to their promise. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ at, at all from a slave, though he is a master of all, but is under guardians and stewards until the time appointed by the Father. Even so, we, when we were children, we were, were in bondage and under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of our, as our sons. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, therefore you are no longer a slave but a son, and if a son, then an heir, then an heir of God through Christ. But then indeed, when you did not know God, you served those who by nature are not gods. But now after you have known God, or rather are known by God, how is it that you turn again to the weak and beggar the elements to which you desire again to be in bondage? You observe days and months and seasons and years, I'm afraid for you, lest I have labored for you in vain. Brethren, I urge you to become as I am, for I am, for I am as you are. You have not injured me at all. You, you know that because of my physical infirmity, I preached the gospel to you at first. And of my trial, which was in my flesh, you did not despise or reject, but you received me as an angel of God, even as Christ Jesus. What then was the blessing you enjoyed? For I bear you witness that, if possible, you would have plucked out your own eyes and given them to me. Have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? They zealously court you, but for no good. Yes, they want to exclude you, that you may be zealous for them. But it's good for them to be zealous in a good thing always, and not only when I am present to you. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. The Catholic Epistle from the First Epistle of our teacher John. His blessings be upon us. Amen. My beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into this world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that, that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh of God, in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world. 
Therefore they speak as of the world, and the world hears them. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love, he who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this, the love of God is, was manifested towards us that God has, has sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. And this is love, not what we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love has been perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and testify that the Father has sent the Son, the Savior of the world. Do not love the world, nor the things which are in the world. The world shall pass away, and all its desires. But he who does the will of God shall abide forever. Amen. The Acts of our Fathers, the Apostles, our Holy Blessings be with us all. Amen. Now when Paul and his party set sail from Paphos, they came to Perga in Pamphylia. And John, departing from them, returned to Jerusalem. But when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch in Pisidia, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and sat down. And after the reading of the law and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent to them, saying, Men and brethren, if you have any word of exhortation for the people, say on. Then Paul stood up and motioning with his hand said, Men of Israel, and you who fear God, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our fathers and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt. And with an uplifted arm, he brought them out of it. Now for a time of about 40 years, he put up with their ways in the wilderness. When we had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he distributed their lands to them by allotment. After that, he gave them judges for about 450 years until Samuel the prophet. And afterward, they asked for a king. So God gave them Saul, the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. And when he had removed him, he raised up for them David as king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will. From this man's seed, according to the promise, God raised up for Israel a savior, Jesus. After John had first preached before his coming, the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his course, and he said, Who do you think I am? I am not he. But behold, there comes one after me, the sandals of whose feet I am not worthy to lose. The word of the Lord shall go and multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the holy church of God. Amen. Yeah. 
May God end it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility while our sins and inequities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord. O my fathers and my brethren, amen. The Holy Church arranged for today to be the Paramun of the Holy Nativity Feast. The word Paramun is of Greek origin and means preparation for the feast. Here it means the preparation to receive the Nativity of the Lord with a strict abstinence. We entreat our good Savior to purify us from our sins and make us worthy of receiving his wondrous birth in a befitting spiritual reception to him is the glory with his good Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. On this day also of the year 20 of the martyrs, 304 A.D., 150 men and 24 women were martyred. They were from the city of Encina, and they were idol worshippers. Um, they were I idol worshippers, and they came once to the praetorium, and they watched the soldiers torturing St. Paul the Syrian. The governor had ordered the soldiers to place red-hot nails into the eyes of the saint. Then they cast him in prison. The following morning, when the soldiers brought him back, these men and women were present. They saw his eyes were healed, and as they were, as they were before, the, they marveled, saying, No one can do this miracle except the true God alone, who is the creator of nature from non-existence. And they cried with one accord, saying, We believe in the God of St. Paul. They came and bowed down before the saint, asking him to pray for them. He lifted them up and blessed them. Then they went to the governor and confessed the Lord Christ. He ordered them beheaded. Thus they received the crown of martyrdom. The blessing of their prayers be with us all, and glory be to God forever. Amen. to his saintly disciples and holy honored apostles. Many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things, things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes who they see, and your ears who they hear. May we be worthy to hear and to act according to the Holy Gospel through the prayers of your sins. Pray concerning the Holy Gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also our Master, those who have bidden us to remember them in our prayers and supplications which we offer up unto you, Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of our soul, the salvation of our soul, the hope of our soul, the healing of our soul, and the resurrection of our soul.
And let us listen to the Holy Gospel, a gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke, that the Apostle may his blessings be the solemn impenshoes. Open, not you, open, so you open, or rooting. He sows for Christus, if she name, if not, he tongue, if you own of shiny, if you fap and not if he. From the Psalms of our father David, the prophet and the king, may his blessings be with us all. I mean, with you is dominion in the day of your power, in the splendors of your sins. I have begotten you from the womb before the morning. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God and Savior and King of our soul. Jesus Christ, the, the Son of the living God, to whom is glory pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. The, the census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria, so all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house of the lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with a child, with child so it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in, in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for, it, for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. <coughs> So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem 
and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. <coughs> Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all those who heard it, it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. And Glory be to God for Virgin Mary, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and our, uh, one God, Amen. Today's gospel is filled with um, a lot of different um, different persons. Um, there's Saint Joseph. There's Saint Mary. They're going to. Um, to give birth to their child, um, to, to Jesus, and there's those that are at the end, there's the shepherds. Um, today I actually want to focus on, on the shepherds. Uh, they're, they're rather intriguing to me. Um, why? Because they're outside the city. They're by themselves. They're, they don't have the most admirable job. They are not the most admirable um, you, you know, no, no one really looks at them very much. They, they tend sheep, which are usually not the brightest of animals. Um, and their goal is to protect them, to get them to a certain destination, to be with them. Um, I mean, no, nothing really special. Um, yet, here they were, um, doing their job, and an angel of the Lord appeared to them. And I think that in itself is a message, right? That, that they were of low reputation, not really high up on the status of social economic class. And an angel in himself appeared before them and prepared and told them a message. And not just any message, but what, what did he tell them? What did, what did the angel tell them? So, look, there's... The Messiah has been born. If you go to this place, if you go to an inn, you're going to find the Messiah. And like, let's think about that. These people have been waiting for the Messiah for thousands of years. And here, the angel appears to these lowly shepherds and tells them that the Messiah is going to be in, born in, not even an inn, not in a palace, not in anywhere glorious, but in... It's going to be in a manger with animals. Yet they believed. Yet they believed. Because of their simplicity, because of their faith, they were able to comprehend the message that God was sending them. And in that, in that, they said something which confirmed their faith. What did they say? Let us go and see that which has been made known to us. So right away they believed. Right away they believed. And they went. And what else did they do? They went and spread that message. They went and spread that message. So let's think about the job of a shepherd. So that they are, they are um, of very little reputation. Right? They're, not, they're not rich. They're not kings. They're not queens. They're not princes. They're not government. Um, their job is to keep those that they're watching safe from outside animals, from their own 
from their own persons, from themselves, from the other sheep, from disease. Their job is to feed the sheep um, and to get them to a particular destination. So based on that, who does that sound like? Who does that sound like? Who protects, who feeds, who nourishes? Yeah, Christ, right? So one of the, one of the titles for Christ is the Good Shepherd. And actually, the church, this icon right here, can be one of two things traditionally. So it could be Christ the Pentecostal on his throne, right? And that's who we have here. Um, or it could be Christ the Good Shepherd. Just those two things. Because the church reminds us of his power, of his government, governance in our life, and his, his, his mercy, his watching over us, his compassion. Um, and these, these lowly people ended up becoming the announcers of the nativity to, to all men, to all men. Right? The angel came and told them, and then they went and saw, and then they went and proclaimed those things that they saw. And who else does the shepherd, does the, do the shepherds represent? Who do you think? Who else does the shepherd represent? Who shepherds? Who shepherds today? The clergy. The clergy. So the bishops, the priests. Right? And St. Ambrose is the one that said this. I didn't say this. St. Ambrose is the one that said this. I didn't. I didn't come up with this. He said, he said, if Mary herself learns from the shepherds, why do so many refuse to learn from the presbyters of the church? So wow, right? So you mean to tell me that St. Mary, St. Mary, the Theotokos, the mother of us all, the mother of God, the pure, the ever virgin, the second heaven, the second tabernacle, and the plethora of titles that we give St. Mary, she learned her faith grew from the shepherds. Her faith became stronger from what the shepherds had to tell her. Yes. Yes, St. Mary herself, St. Ambrose tells us that her faith was strengthened by the words of the shepherds. Who else? Who else shepherds? Parents, right? Parents? Parents and siblings. So who here has a brother or sister? No one? No one has a brother or sister? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of siblings here. How many people wish they didn't have any siblings? I'm just kidding. Don't don't answer that. Um, but as siblings, right? Especially as older siblings, and older siblings get a lot of flack because they have a lot of responsibility. But as older siblings, you're you're a shepherd to your younger siblings, and it gets hard, right? But let's think about maybe you don't know the views of younger siblings, right? Younger siblings look up to their older siblings like no other. And I know they do, we don't necessarily say that. I'm a younger sibling, but we don't necessarily say it all the time. But when we're kids, we look up to you guys as like you're, you're the coolest thing on earth. Um, and so parents have a tough time with kids. You tell them something to do and kids don't want to hear it, right? They think that their parents are old and not cool and they're living from like a thousand years ago. So siblings have the next, the next step up, right? They're cool. They're in, in their generation. And as hard as it is, um, younger siblings actually listen to you. And not, maybe not all the time. They'll probably throw up some fit and yell and stamp. But there's a lot of ways that you could be shepherds to your younger siblings, right? You guys have gone through the same school system. You know how hard it is to go through school in a Christian manner. So when, when you come home and you talk to your siblings or when they see what you're doing and they see everything, even if you think that they don't, they see everything. Everything you guys do, everything you guys say, all the texts that you guys do, what your time goes to, what your time doesn't go to, all these things are counted by your younger sibling. And you'll see it because when they start to get older, and start to come maybe a few years even younger where you are, they see the things that you've done and they want to do those things. So if you're on the computer all day, they want to be on the computer all day. If you're watching YouTube all day, YouTube is the coolest thing ever. That's what they're going to say. And I'm going to be on YouTube all day. If I'm on my PS4, my Xbox, that's what they're going to do. 
believe it or not, I like, I'm, I'm not kidding. Um, but there's ways, there's ways, lots of ways that we can help shepherd those, those youth because when you say something, they want to listen. They, like deep down inside, they're, I don't mean in, in like a dictatorship type, type of way, you do this, you do that, because no one wants to listen to that. But use your influence that you have with them in, in a Christian manner. Tell them about the difficulties of school and how to get through that in a Christian manner. Show them about church. Show them about God. Show them the things that you read, the things that you don't read. Pray with them. Be with them. Hang out with them. Even simple hangouts, just simple hangouts, going out to coffee, going out to get ice cream, whatever it may be. Those build up your relationships so that when it does come time to to say something tough, they'll listen. They'll listen. And like I remember, I remember that there were times where my sisters, my sister used to drive me to church all the time. And that, that was really important to me. And that was over 10 years ago, but I still remember those car rides that I had with my sister. And so those things help, help ground your siblings in the church. So maybe your parents don't come to church all the time. Be their ride. Bring them to church. Maybe the parents don't know the hymns. Teach them the hymns. Show them that the hymns are really cool in church because when you don't sing, they're not going to sing. It's very, very, like, traditional. What you do, they're going to do. They're going to be your little mini-me's as much as you like it or not. So use that. Use that. God gave you uh, a talent in being an older sibling. Use that talent for your benefit, for their benefit, for their sanctification. Um, And then younger siblings, right? So these older siblings have a lot of responsibility. And they do a lot of things that you don't necessarily know about, that we don't know about. And they probably get yelled at a lot more than we do for all the mischief that we get into. So just say thank you every once in a while, because they do a lot. They do a lot. Um, So thank you to my sisters um, and to all those that have shepherded me and shepherded you and... um, May they forever be in the church, and may we always be grounded in the church. Um, and may the church be open to us throughout the ages and unto the end of ages. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and The Virgin Mary and Joseph and Salome were very Amazed because of what they saw, Jephes Marot in Jeviot, Name of Sheet, Name Bev Nevmais, O Titerias is Jike Volten Oshemos in Tion. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth, and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one and sister with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, so carn of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us in the Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried on the third day, he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended to heaven, and said to the right hand of his father, and is coming again in his glory, judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. He has to believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver, who proceeds from the Father, where the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, one holy Catholic apostolic church, we confess and baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Ah, amen. Be
προσευχή στάσετε. Ειρήνη φάτη και το πνεύμα τη Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yeah, Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, hear us and have mercy on us. Offer, offer, offer an order. Stand with trembling, Lord, towards the east. Let us attend. He ten ebris veyante ti theotokos eso ab mare ab shoisare emot na nebiko evo ente ne novi te nos te moko beresos. Nembe kio te nagasos, nembe nev mai so web je av maskak so ti emon ele o sirini se se ya ene se e. Holy Lord. 
and placed us in the paradise of joy when we disobeyed your commandment by the deceit of the serpent we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of, of joy you have not abandoned us to the end but have always visited us through your holy prophets and in the last days you did manifest yourself to us, we who are sitting in darkness and the shadow of death. Through your only begotten Son, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary. Amen. Was incarnate and became man and taught us the ways of salvation. He granted us the birth from on high through water and spirit. He made us unto himself and assembled people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own who are in the world and on as a ransom on our behalf gave himself up unto death which reigned over us whereby we were bound and sold on account of our sins, he descended into Hades through the cross. Amen. I Ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand, O Father. He has appointed a day for recompense on which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord. And not according to our sin. Of God, they don't ever even find a she and Oh, 
After supper, he mixed with it wine and water, and when he had given thanks, Amen. he blessed it. Amen. He sanctified it. confess and we glory if I taste it and gave it also to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles saying Take, drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood, which is shed for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. This is also true. Amen. Proclaim my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me till I come. Amen, amen, amen. Your death, O Lord, we proclaim, and your holy resurrection. And ascension into the heavens we confess. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, O Lord, and we treat you all our God Amen. 
And his second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory. We offer unto you these gifts from what is yours, for everything concerning everything, and in everything. Worship God in fear and trembling. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, and we worship you. Let us attend, I mean, and this bread he makes into his holy body. I believe, amen. I mean. Oh, and said to the Athikian very end, Top Kebalin Tianati Amin. Given for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of it. Amin, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Be kasuul yomeser tu fatiko yehulizan tu. The purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a share of inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord, have mercy. Acquire to herself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. O most remember, O Lord, our blessed and our Father, the Archbishop, our Patriarch, Papa, the Third Rose, the Second, and his spiritual brethren, the Patriarch of Antioch, Maria, and Alexis Ephraim, the Second, Karim, and the Patriarch of Eritrea, Abun Antonius, the First, and his partner and apostolic liturgy, our honored Father, the Metropolitan. Have us you. Lord, have mercy. And those who rightly hand the Lord the fruit to them, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, Orthodox Hebrew means peace and deacon. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants and all who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people, remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us. O have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pantocrator. Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place and every place and every monastery of Orthodox Father. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell in, in the sea, graciously afford the Lord to bless the air of heaven the fruits of the daughters of the river, the seed, the herds, and the plants of the field this year. Lord, have mercy.
mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Listen to the major according to the ways of joy, to the face of the earth, may its furrows be abundantly watered, and its roots be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting, manage our life as deemed fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them the food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, so you have food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness that we too, having sufficiency in everything, always may abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought to you this gift, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly word. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those of brought them. Lord, have mercy. command of your only begotten son that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Gracious the call of Lord to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Our holy father, the patriarch, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous reflected in the faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory of the Virgin, Holy Theotokos, Saint Mary, who truly is birth of God the Lord. And Saint John, the forerunner, Baptist, and Martyr, Saint Stephen, Archdeacon, the proto martyr, the beholder of God, the Virgin, Saint Mark, the Holy Apostle, and Martyr. The Patriots and Savis of Teacher, the School of Senate, the Nassus, the Apostolic St. Peter, the Holy Martyr and High Priest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Theodosius, St. Theophilus, St. Demetrius, St. Seal, St. Bad, St. Gregory, Theologian, St. Gregory, the Wonder Worker, St. Gregory, the Armenian. The 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous Father, the great of Antony, the righteous of Apollo, and the three saints of Macari, and all the children, the cross bearers. Our Father, our John, the Amen, our righteous Father, our Pishoy, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, and all the choir of your saints, through his prayers and supplications. Have mercy upon us all and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let those who read recite the name. Of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep, O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. May their holy blessings be with us. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have, me have mercy, Lord, bless us, Lord, repose them. Amen.
souls you have taken repose them in the paradise of joy in the region of the living forever in the heavenly Jerusalem in that place and we too who are sojourners in this place keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end as it was and shall be from generation to generation and unto the age of all ages. Amen. throughout the way into your kingdom that as in this so also in all things your great and holy name may be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honored and blessed together with your beloved son jesus christ and your beloved son and the Holy Spirit, it be is, be with all and with your spirit again. Let us give thanks to God, the Pantocrator. The Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he has also made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mystery. worship your holy body and your precious blood and your precious blood of his Christ the Pantocrator the Lord our God O Master, Lord God, the Creator, the Invisible, Uncontainable, Immutable, and Immeasurable, Oh, 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 oh,
Kiri Eleison, Lord, have mercy. Who sent his true light, his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, the Eternal? as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not temptation but deliver us from the evil one through Christ Jesus our Lord for thine the kingdom and power the glory forever amen Of all your people, from every sin, every curse, and every false denial, and from every false hope. 
Every encounter of the heretics and heathen, though master war and master grant of reason and power and understanding, to flee unto the end from the every evil deed of the, of the adversary and grant us to do what is pleasing to God at all times. Ascribe our names with all the fire of your saints in the kingdom of the heavens in Christ Jesus our Lord, King of glory, and all which we go into the kingdom of the blessed who is one of us and all of us. Save the mean and with your spirit in the fear of God, let us attend. Of sins and eternal life, 
to those who partake of him. Amen, amen, I, I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true, amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe. This is true, I mean, pray for us and for all the Christians who said to us concerning them, remember us in the house of the Lord, the peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you, let us sing Alleluia, pray for the worthy partaking of the Immaculate and the Heavenly Holy Mystery, peace, Lord, Oh, 
Let's see who comes in the name of the Lord. Let's see who comes in the name of the Lord. Pray. Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, and teaches by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be coming with the Lord. Pray. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Isos bechresos ipshiri em evnoti sotem ero na o na ina I start this song with words of peace about a full moon and the greatest of dreams. I wish it continues permanently about Virgin Mary who helps quickly. I reveal and speak my mind openly. How can I speak and what can I say about the mystery of her virginity? A great virgin and her pregnancy, it is impossible to explain and say. Even the scholars could not find a way. Ezekiel the prophet spoke about her. He gave his peace and said about her, Jesus the King will come to her. He is her Lord and the Creator. He loved her before he made her all the arts and all the wonders even the saying of the scholars her virginity we should not ponder our almighty lord is the real wonder who came to her womb as a child to her. By his will he suffered and was crucified. He rose from the dead after he died. The Son of Man raised men who died. From the depths of Hades to the paradise they re Turn to the paradise of light. The salvation of the creation appeared from the pure and chosen virgin Mount Zion. Her pregnancy is a mysterious one to my heart and to my conscience. But nothing is impossible for God the One. Moses the prophet spoke a great saying with an old prophecy that was amazing. He said that God will truly bring a great prophet with no equal being who created it is the end and the beginning. He saw you in a burning bush with flames. He became amazed and was marveled. Many explained what this means. This is a known symbol of Mary. 
as John the evangelist preached and said, All my life I glorified, and I could not hold back my voice concerning the mystery of Christ, Mother. I was trusted to evangelize regardless of any circumstances. Solomon spoke of you in the Song of Songs. My sister, welcome to you. I need the aroma of your clothes, sweet. Truly, John the Evangelist spoke about the Virgin Mary in many words. He testified, saying, I saw a lady clothed in garments full of light, surrounded by the sun and the moon under her, and around her head twelve stars shine. Then being with a child, she cried out in labor. There is no doubt that this is true. The moon is drawn, the Baptist, and the twelve stars are the twelve apostles. And surely the Son is the child Jesus. This is a simple act for the mighty Lord. My heart and mind are attached to you. I have never seen anyone like you. I always confess and do not deny you are my fortress and my refuge, a wall, a barrier, and a stronghold. We asked and we were given to be led and guided to enlightenment. For we believed with all understanding and became obedient and carried the yoke and enlightened people through Jesus and his might. The Logos appeared from you in a great mystery, an honorable divinity and humanity. And you became like the Ark of the Covenant that was made with wood that would not decay and covered with gold and closed in silk. You were exalted to God's heaven. You were raised to be a heaven, truly you surpassed all the rings, and you became a lampstand with great light, your praise is greatly valuable. Your Son is the one who created you, you carried him on your hands, as a babe, you mourned at his passion that he tasted. The kingdom is his and none other. He created everything with his own hands. Bye.
pipe and like a field of many plants. I will continue in this praise for a long time. I am incapable of completing my task. The ancient, the mighty, and unchangeable descended from heaven to the virgin's womb. His miracles were beyond understanding. The thoughts of man were known to him. He healed the paralytic and he carried his bed. Many are the wonders of Jesus Christ, the mind of scholars cannot understand. He accepted the sinners and raised the dead. He healed the sick and the paralytic. He healed the abandoned from evil spirits. I gave my life to describing you. I took the harsh roads toward this ending so that I may describe and I alone. But I do not have the energy. I took this roadway down a guy. Mary, you are called the highest heaven. This you were called, and your name is sweet. And my speech cannot describe you. Even from my first day to the last, my tongue is incapable and my time is short. I went into the sea of knowledge. I found it a difficult journey. I, call, I could not float and I could not swim. I did not have a ship to cross the sea so that I may reach the harbor of peace. The true God was crucified on the cross and truly endured the Jews' oppression. What a great sacrifice despite denial, what great injustice that was not realized. They gave him gall vinegar and wine to drink. He promised us an eternal promise. He came hidden and took our likeness. And in everything he resembled us, except and so that we may not live by the judgments of the crafty devil. He came to us a humble man, and Judas, his disciple, betrayed him. He willingly submitted to the sufferings. He arose, ascended, and crushed the gates of Hades and released Adam from bondage. Indescribable is the mother of God. She is capable to intercede to him. O oh, our advocate on judgment day, Abu El Sad, your servant is unworthy, waiting for your promise to be my helper. Hail to you, our duty is to praise you. All people and ranks offer you praise. With every father asking on our behalf, 
the patriarch, be metropolitan bishop and priest, and all the laymen, elders, and young. Jefez marut in jeviot ne mepshiri ne mbi ebne ma eth owe Tetreyes is jike volt in oshtem mostenti ones Pepi oshani I start in the name of the Holy One and thank His name at all times. Our Lord is us be Christos vie tav mas chen Adam was exiled by the devil. The righteous judge came and saved him. After 5,500 years, we At that time, he freed Adam and all his kin, and through his blood they rejoiced. Be it a much pain with them, all the high reigns to praise. He who was incarnate of Mary the Virgin, Jesus Christ the Lord of hosts, be it a much pain with them. He granted us the kingdom. He took flesh and became man, being the eternal Lord of hosts, the Eth of Masfen Bethlehem. He has made us a holy promise. He fulfilled all the prophecies. He was born from a pure virgin. Ve tav mas chen Senses to begin. Joseph came to Bethlehem. Et of Mars Pen Bethlehem. Joseph went with St. Mary, who was pregnant with the Lord of hosts. Her days were fulfilled to deliver the heir of Mars and Bethlehem. The pure virgin brought unto us our Creator who was born of her. His light has shone upon us.
virgin as a complete human he was born the heavenly hosts were rejoicing exceedingly with a beautiful hymn for the birth of Emmanuel Vest of Masfin Bethlehem the shepherds heard the praises of the angels of the heavenly kingdom. News of the birth of our Savior, be it of my They saw the child in the manger, the maker of every good thing, and the creation greatly rejoiced. star of year shining in the east its vibrant light was seen by the wise men and its rays shone upon all of them magnificent scene leading the way in front of them the wise man followed it in all to the city of the great peace they headed to Bethlehem, seeking to see the newborn king. Betalma in this the star was their guide to the place of his birth in Bethlehem. Then it disappeared from them. Viet of Mosk in Bethlehem. Who are serving you and training your holy name and bowing on their heads before your dwelling, number Lord, walk among them and aid in every good deed, walk, wake their heart from every vile thing and every thought. Grant them to live things of, of what is partaking of living and understand the things that are yours, O you, through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, unto you, whom, whom we, we and all your people cry out, saying, Have mercy on us, O God, our Savior. Sacrificing high with this hymn, remember us, O Lord, before our Lord, that he may forgive us our sins. Let us pray with the angels, saying, Glory be to God in the highest, peace and goodwill towards men.
عارفين اللي بيهايز ده مين ده اساناسيوس ابن ابونا بيقول له ويلكم يا بابا زي احنا كلنا كده ما بنقول له ويلكم يا ابونا من افواه الاطفال والرضع حياته صبحا فروم ذا ماوس اوف ذا تشيلدرن بيبيز يو نو ذير از برايزز تو جاد ويلكم يا ابونا كيرولوس The love of God, the Father, the grace of His only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the communion and gift of the Holy Spirit be with you. Those who wish to depart in peace, the peace go in peace, the peace of the Lord be with you always. بس خلاص هي المسجد كده بنقول إحنا فرحانين وأرويلك من جهم بركة كبيرة very very great blessing to our church. أبونا يوحنا أبونا مارك أبونا ديفيد and the 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 fresh and the full of grace أبونا كارلوس.